We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. Let's see how we go. There might be a few textures I still need to work on. i got to remember how to do combat in this game. Get him. Don't punch it. Use magic. That's better. Spirit of Valor. What say ye? Non-mages. The muggles. The muggles are so hollow. There's going to be some action, but also a lot of dialogue, but good dialogue too. He doesn't look comfortable. He's got spikes coming out of everywhere. That can't be comfortable for sleeping like he keeps sleeping. And this spirit wolf. I'm going to go back to myself. Oh shit, there's one here. Oh, there's heaps of them. It's two against one. Do you really want to fight us both? Amusing. Combat with in the fade is always a bit weird. It's not very epic. Mic on. There we go. Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to everyone. Thanks for coming along and tuning in. Uh, this is Nerdedness. I am Shade, and you are awesome. So tonight we're cracking into Dragon Age Origins. There's a lot of thought went into what to play next, and Dragon Age Origins is something that um, was always wanting to be played again by me because it's just a classic. Uh, it's right in the peak of Bioware, uh, in the peak Bioware awesomeness around the 2009-2010 mark. And later this year, we're going to be playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which is the remastered Mass Effect, which I also loved, which also came from Bioware, so it's fitting. So this game is something that uh, I got really immersed in the story. The characters are amazing. This is probably the first game for me that ever really evoked attachment to characters and, and storytelling and really demonstrated the power of what games can do as an art form and as a story a story medium that's enough talking for now let's get into it so what we're going to do is we're going to play a mage and in specifically we're going to go into being an arcane warrior once we're high enough and i'll explain what that means when we get there but to start with we're going to be a mage um this is very if you haven't played dragon age before i hope you like it it is slightly different um to other fantasy games but it's pretty close mostly what you'd expect but just with some slight twists um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna start a random character to play the start cinematics and so it is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall marvel at perfection for it is fleeting you have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world and the canticle of thorendoses but it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Here be dragons indeed, Grizz. Welcome aboard. Golems, apparently. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. Much action. 
Hopefully not too choppy. <laughs> all the races, all the classes band together. Ooh, that's a bit rough. It's been like 11 or 10 or 11 years since I've seen this. Awesome. It has been four centuries since that victory. 400 years, we right. have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Oh yeah, fuck him up. Get him. Nice work, Duncan. It be too late. For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Hey, Static Youth. Best game of the trilogy, you reckon? Well, I haven't played the others yet, but we will be playing them. Um, yes, Origins was amazing. Um, I also have never played Awakenings through properly either. I've only played the start of that. So we're going to be doing Dragon Age Origins, a couple of the DLCs, Awakening, uh, Witch Hunt and whatever else comes after, Golems and Witch Hunt. And then after that, we'll be moving into Dragon Age 2 at some point. We might take a break in the middle. And then at some point, Dragon Age Inquisition. We might fit some Mass Effect in the middle there when that launches this year as well. So, for those uh, wanting to just sort of see what the hell all of this means and what what's going on here, so basically, um, like four to five hundred years ago, the mages got so powerful and arrogant that they then tried to make their way into the heavens and other realms, right? Uh, there is another realm called the Fade, which is almost like Oblivion for Elder Scrolls fans, but still not quite. It's like a dream realm, if you like. Um, but anyway, the mages... Uh, got to this place and I don't know whether they caused something or whether they were just immediately kicked out or what happened. But anyway, they were the first Darkspawn. So they were sent back to Earth or whatever this is. And they were the original Darkspawn, which then formed a bit of a blight, if you like. Um, trying, They were multiplying and uh, basically raging and taking over. They were uh, wiping out everything on the planet. And then these Grey Wardens came along. Now, the Grey Wardens are a special group of Dark Spawn fighters. They have some special abilities and stuff that, and special resistances to Grace to, to Dark Spawn, if you like. And they wiped out the, the Dark Spawn 400 years ago, theoretically, because it looks like the Dark Spawn are starting to make a comeback, and the Grey Wardens might also need to make a comeback. We'll see. Right, so we are starting with a, a mage. So I'm just going to roll a random uh, human mage just to play the start sequence, and then I'll launch my actual character I've created. Just trying to do it to save time so you don't have to watch me dick around for 45 minutes creating a character. Um, all right, so mages, uh, after all of this, there's a lot of um, prejudice against mages as well. So mages um, are allowed to study magic within the the mage tower or the circle of magi and what's the other deal um they're constantly being watched and guarded by these templar type dudes to make sure that we only study non-dark magic and that we don't do silly things because they don't want a repeat of what happened with the whole darkspawn thing i think that's caught everyone up let's get on with it <clears throat> Um, quick play. Yep, that's fine. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. That's a big tower. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. Mm. The ever-vigilant yep. Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, 
That apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. This is the other reason I've chosen a male character, is I have to voice all, all the dialogue for our character. So, um, previously I've played female dwarf, uh, no, sorry, female elf today, and for this playthrough, human male, which actually matches me quite correctly, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, so we're doing our initiation. Um, what happens if I cannot defeat the demon? It will turn you into an abomination and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway aid. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity. Every mage must do this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dream. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The Apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Thank you, boss magic man. Let's touch the magical water, stones, or whatever. The lyrium is like a rock, which is like pure mana essence or something like that. Into the dream world of the Fade we go. Here we are. We have arrived. Which also means I can pause and load my actual character. Which character? Uh, Shade. Shade in the Fade. Here we go. Cool. So I looked almost the same. Slight differences. I've equipped some gear and ready to go. Weak my sound a little bit. Oh, hopefully that works. Groovy. So into the dream world we go to face our initiation thingy. And of course we're going to get pop-ups, aren't we? That's okay. Uh, so, also, by the way, this is an 11-year-old game. Um, we have modded it with a whole bunch of graphics mods as well as a few feature mods to bring it up to 2021 standards. So hopefully we can play through with fewer interruptions, but also um, much higher resolution. Let's see how we go. There might be a few textures I still need to work on. All right, I'll grab whatever that is. Shimmering Orb of Light. That sounds like something I should... Doors some of your health. So this is how we heal in the Fade, is it? All right. All right. Paused because what? Combat has started. Okay, yep. Go away. We can take it. Why don't we put on our... Uh, our armor spell is on. We are armored. Let's shoot a fireball at that guy. Ow. Oh, no. That's a cone. All right. Let's shoot this bolt thing. That's better. Shoot him! Yeah, you. Alright, got it. I gotta remember how to do combat in this game. Now is better than later. Get him! Don't punch it. Use magic. That's better. So the game is not turn-based. That's the wrong spell. Um, but it does allow you to queue up. Commands amongst your party. I'll get on. We got our spell on. It's hard to tell. So with someone else thrown to the wolves, as Ooh. fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. So you are a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here in that body? You look like that because you think you do. The same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same. Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Mouse. I will do all the killing Grizz, don't you worry. There shall be glory, and hopefully epic battles. 
So, Mr. Mouse, not your real name, I take it? No. I don't remember anything from before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me. I, I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. Ooh, that's right. So a demon possesses you in the Fade, then come, turns your body into an abomination, and the Templars kill you. And if you take too long, it sounds like they kill you because they can't risk you becoming an abomination. <laughs> and so this poor bastard's stuck here. All right. Uh, how long do I have exactly? I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. All right, so what am I supposed to do? There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Hmm, why pit me against such a creature? A question for those in the tower. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to ask. Maybe someday... There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago. But you... You may have a way out. Sounds good, Mr. Mouse Man. We can be buddies. The spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Let's put our rock skin on again. There we go. Rock armor. That's better. Oh, we can still it's talk to him. It's to be out in the open like this. Not that hiding helps much in the fa We can talk to him. So how have you survived here for so long? I missed my chance. So I became small, unnoticeable. I hide from the bigger things, learn from the smaller things. There are places you can hide where the shadows go on forever. You stay there long enough, and the shadows begin to creep inside of you. Oh. I, I don't know how long it's... forever, maybe. So the Templars simply killed you? That is what happens to the physical bodies of apprentices who fail. They'd kill every mage if they could. All the Templars see in magic is danger. And they don't just use the harrowing. If you learn a little too much, they'll label you a blood mage and kill you on it. True mages like you know that the power you hold is a gateway to greater things. A potential hmm. they can never hope to contain. Isn't there also the option of the right of tranquility? Be turned into an emotionless freak? That is what it is, you know? To never dream, never feel. Even demons abhor them. But I suppose that is the trade-off. They can't be possessed. As if that is worse than losing yourself. You don't want to lose. Being nothing would be easy. Yes, that's right. So, basically... Um, not everyone can do magic, only those gifted or born with magic abilities can, and that's why you get rounded up and sent to the tower to make sure you learn how to do it properly under the right rules. Um, but you can, instead of going through the harrowing, go through this rite of tranquility, which basically is a bit of a lobotomy, I think. So um, you lose the ability to do any kind of magic, you lose the ability to feel or carry any kind of emotion or dream or anything like that. You become a bit of a... I don't know what you call it, a bit of a, not, not, not quite a zombie, but just sort of, yeah, very dull, I guess. Um, so this guy, do you want to die? I think you should finish your harrowing. Hmm, alright. Okay, plot helpers are markers, yeah, that's fine, let's save. Yes, yeah, good to be playing a game where I can quick save again, that's great. Okay, so... The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. That means if we touch this lyrium vein. Got it. Okay, we learn about lyrium, which we're not going to read all the codex entries for. Lyrium is basically like a mana magic mineral of some kind, I think. All right, so we've got these wisp thingies. Shoot it. Shoot it again. 
Oh, spells on cooldown, so I gotta punch it. Punch it. Fire cone. Oh, resisted. That's rude. Shoot it. There we go. That got it. Be good if I didn't have to have the little feet icon illumination all the time, because that might look a little unimmersive. Right, let's take out this dickhead. Come on, mouse, hit him. Excellent. Firebombed him. Oh, we gotta go that way to that spirit. Whoops. Someone's gonna fall on it. Flameage. And spellage. Alright, he ran away and went back there. Let's talk to this guy first. Another spirit this way. It never seemed. Spirit of Valor. What say ye? Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill. Than to be sent unarmed against a demon. I'm not thrilled about it either. But we can't fight each other. We're not warriors. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Alright, so what kind of spirit are you? I am Valor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. Okay, what else do you know about the harrowing? Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. <laughs> I do know that a demon has been called told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave until one of you is dead. Hmm. So did you create all of these weapons around you? They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. <laughs> Non-mages. The muggles. The muggles are so hollow. <laughs> Ugh. Well, would one of these weapons affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Hmm. Okay. Um, oh, we can do a willpower check. It seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal Sorry. their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Sorry, sorry, okay. <clears throat> so do you challenge helpless mortals to duels then? You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Yes. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Okay. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. And I got a star, because I'm a mage, I got a star. Valor's staff, made of iron, apparently. Let's whip that on. Ruby, anything else we can interact with? Nope, can we talk to him some more? You have Valor's staff. There is nothing else I can do for you. Excellent, let's move forward. And, ooh, what's up here? Ace of healing. Now's better than later. Yoink. Alright, let's do a full manual save, because we haven't done one of those yet. And we're in business. Let's fight this spirit wolf thing. Right. Game. Right. Hell time. Oh, that was cheeky. Okay, so when we cast spells with the staff, it comes out the staff. That's kind of cool. Be cautious. Right. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but... 
Thanks, Mouse. It is dangerous to be out in the open like this. Not that hiding helps much in the face. There's a lot of dialogue in this game, by the way. <laughs> so I apologize if you just want more action. Um, there's going to be a lot of... There's going to be some action, but also a lot of dialogue. But good dialogue, too. Um, all right, what do you know about the Fade, Mouse? It's the realm of dreams. You know that, don't you? Everyone comes what here to dream, but it's fleeting, and they remember little. But mages can enter awake, and that draws attention. There are many spirits in the Fade. These demons feed on the dark parts of the mind. The Templars in the tower would give them a meal for certain. Is it possible to change like you do? Maybe. If you're able to forjure you, that takes... Hmm. You can't think like a spirit. They shape the Fade according to their will. Solid things, real things are just more complicated ideas. I think you'd better focus on something. Defeat your spirit or demon or be killed. All right, so no shape-shifting for us. Okay, where are these other spirits that you mentioned? Uh, directions are tough here. If you look around, I'll tell you if we're getting close. How about that? <laughs> uh, fine. All right, let's keep moving. I'm ready if you are. I also still can't help but have a suspicion that maybe Mouse is the demon that we need to face off against. All right, a sloth demon. Let's. What's going on here? Do we fight you? Do we talk? We probably talk first. Hello. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's <laughs> not going to... We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Hmm, okay, so are you here to help me? Help you? <laughs> That's a no, okay. Nothing can help you. All right. Gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, Not yet. I'm tired of you already. Why are you called sloth? What are you? I am a spirit of... Sloth, yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. Hmm, are you talking about dreamers? Many mortals dream. They come here often, but you are not one of those. You are aware, a mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> All right. Lucky me, I guess. Indeed. Now, what do you want with me? So Bright says he looks like the wolf from Never Ending Story had a love child with a porcupine. He doesn't look comfortable. He's got spikes coming out of everywhere. That can't be comfortable for sleeping like he keeps sleeping. All right, Sloth Demon, I need help defending... Oh, sorry, defeating another demon, I guess. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. <laughs> be valorous. Mm. Ah. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Come on, man. Learn it. Hiding doesn't solve anything, Mouse. We need to face our fears. We? 
I have faced more in this place than you can imagine. Fear is just one more thing. You are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. Yes. The teaching is so exhausting. Oh, come on. With you now. Mm -hmm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. No, he's not going to help. Mouse wants to learn. Teach him. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, oh, no. and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Riddles? Are you joking? Indeed not. Amusement is difficult to come by, and hmm. I shall take it in the place of a meal, if I can. I'm not sure I want to provide him with either. All right. Can we save? Nope, we cannot. I accept your challenge, sloth. Surely? Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. My mm. first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Oh! I actually think I know this one. You are a map. A map. <laughs> Uh, correct. Uh, let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Often, never touched, but often held. Uh, if you have wit. So intelligence, I guess. If you have wit. What was the last bit? If... If you have wit, you'll use me well. So if you're witty, you'll use your intelligence, right? Rarely touched, but often held. So you hold intelligence. Let's go intelligence. Are you even trying? Uh, the answer is a tongue. Time Fuck. to feast. What a delight. Oh, I can't believe I got that wrong. Right, right. All right, fight him. Flame blast. Ow. Tongue. I didn't think of tongue. Not worth all this exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Excellent. This. Am I a bear? It feels heavy. It is heavy. Close enough. Go then, man. Uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I've taught the mouse, do not assist in bothering me. I'm tired. I believe I got that wrong. Oh, and now mouse forms one of our party. Cool. I've taught the mouse, do not assist in bothering me. I'm tired. Okay. So the other thing we have to keep in mind of as well is magic, as well as a lot of other effects. Um, can do friendly fire, so if you do a big-ass spell that hits everyone, you're going to hit your own team as well. So magic, although powerful in this game, is also dangerous. Right, so where do we go now? Look around this way. Area map. Yep, don't tell me that. It's fine. Quick save. No, tongue. Tongue was the answer. I can't believe I got that wrong. All right, so now if I control mouse, I can say, hey, mouse, go and use ray, no, slam on this thing, on this spirit wolf. And I go back to myself. Oh, shit, there's one here. Oh, there's heaps of them. All right. Use our powers. Let's go smack this one. Let's hit them all with some flamage. Yes. Get it. Got it. And some magic on you. Excellent. Boom. Good teamwork, Mouse. Smashed him. Smashed him. Right, so now we're going back this way. Okay. Follow the map marker. Are we up in the lyrium vein again? There is a spirit of rage. Oof. Well, we can talk to it. And 
And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. No, you shall not. It shall be mine, body and soul. Okay. It's two against one. Do you really want to fight us both? Amusing. Have you not told it of all arrangement, Mouse? We don't have an arrangement. Not anymore. Oh. oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Oh, combat time. Yep, combat time. What have we got? We've got a wisp ray. Okay, so... Mouse, you smack him, please. What does rage do? Gains a bonus to damage for a short time. That sounds good. And we might have a shot at that one off to the side. A resume combat. And go smack him, Mouse. And let's go back to my character. There we go. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Right, all right. Give them a toasting. Back the other one. Yes, very good. Get that one. Oh, mouse is down. Medic. All right, let's fix this guy up. Shoot him. We might drink one of our orb lighty thingies. Yes, healed up. Hit him. Boom. Done. Winner. Did it. You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to. But I never really thought any of you were worthy. Okay, so the ones you betrayed before me, what were their names? What? They were not as promising as you. It was a long time ago. Uh Else, you dodgy bastard. Names. I don't even remember my own name. It's the Fade, and the Templars killing me, like they tried with you. Hmm, so what is it that you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help. There may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold out. You just need to want to let me in. Oh, I'm starting to think the other demon was not my test. What? What do you... Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's... Haha! <laughs> The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Oh boy. So we were right, he was the one. Suck on that. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Oh, so that's it then. Ooh. Combat with... In the Fade is always a bit weird, it's not very epic, but in the real world with mages and a mixed party, it will look pretty cool. Are you alright? Say something, please. <laughs>